Hey, what's happening guys? One of the things that ends up happening when you get into 3D printing is you end up with partial rolls of filament that you know you'd like to use because the stuff is expensive but you don't have any way to do it. So I found something. This is a uh, like a like a filament welder, I guess you might want to call it. So anyway, while I'm getting this out of here, let me just tell you that this video is sponsored by our friends at Solder Stick. I figure Solder Stick has ways to help you join pieces of wire together, right? So they'd make a great uh, sponsor for this video about joining together pieces of filament. And uh, there'll be a little video at the end you can watch about that. Check them out, see if they have anything that uh, interests you or would help you out, and uh, they do. There's a discount link down below. So, here it is, so I can get a better view. <clears throat> I have a feeling there's not much to it. <clears throat> So this is some sort of uh, metal, non-magnetic. Those are those are magnetic, but most of this is non-magnetic. It's probably a uh, aluminum. And that feels like a some sort of plastic in there, I guess. Torque that down pretty tight. Well, of course, it doesn't come with any instructions or anything, you know. Can't have that, could we? So, I looked it up online, and what you're supposed to do is you get your two pieces of filament that you want to join. And a couple pieces of just, I have no idea what brand PLA here. And I'm going to give them a nice cut so we have more uh, area to work with here. And one goes in there like a so. And we'll cut this one. Oh, it's already cut. How about that? Like I was planning on doing this. And we'll put this one in here. Like so. Then I believe we need to tighten it. Whoops. Okay. So you see it's, it's held pretty good here, which is uh, right on the diameter of the filament. But this side is looser. So what you're supposed to do is now heat these up with a torch or a lighter or something and then push the join filament back through this plastic block here and hopefully what will happen is that will scrub off all of the boogers that stick to it and so forth so let's give it a try it really doesn't want to stay in there and I don't really want to have my hands that close to it when I heat this thing up so let's see what we get here There they are, and push, and no, uh, they did not go in through the hole, they did not want to go in, yeah, they're not going in, I read that there would be a uh, steep learning curve, alright, take two. Yeah, see, what's the bend down it doesn't want to go in there that ain't no good all right let's try this again take three man
Oh, I think I got it through. Yes, I got it through. We'll keep going through. <laughs> All right, well, I got them to stick together, but I don't think that would go through an extruder. Let's try it again. Take four. Oh, that went through. Can I take it back through the other way? Yeah, not really. See, that joined it pretty good. But it's still rough. Like, what would, what would you do? I don't know, I kind of feel like that would get clogged up in the extruder. Let me try again, see if I can get a better one. Man, if they are not straight enough, that also becomes a problem. So you got to kind of do your best to straighten out the piece you're working with so that it actually wants to go into the hole and we'll do that with both sides see if that makes it any straighter all right try again whoops Number whatever, five. Nope, ain't gonna go in. Or is it? Yep. <clears throat> no, I got it in there, but... <sighs> I can't get it through. <laughs> now I understand why they made this in two pieces. right back all right after about five more tries you can see that I got one that actually kind of looks like it might fit through an extruder there's still a little rough there though you see how it's catching I don't know if that would jam or not like I said, this was like $9. It's two pieces of aluminum with some sort of uh, plastic sleeve inside of it. It's incredibly fiddly and difficult to use. Filament's not that expensive. This would drive me crazy. But you know what doesn't drive me crazy and isn't hard to use? Solder stick. Again, there will be a short video here coming up at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'll put a link to this down below. If you'd like to give it a try yourself, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Big thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring this video. Big thanks to the patrons who keep this channel alive. And a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits
spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount.